Hey everyone, I'm Cryptid. Welcome to the Cryptid Plays YouTube channel. Today, we are continuing Rekinder. Last time, we lost our friend Takumi and subsequently met our antagonist, Yuichi. And we ended up having to save Sayaka from one of Yuichi's traps. Before we get started on today's adventure, there are a couple of content warnings I must give you. In this video, there are depictions of depression, implied abuse, gore, and implied sexual situations. Viewer discretion is advised. And with that, let's get started. Let's see. From now on, we should trust what Yuichi says. The way things are, any action could find us a path. Yeah, you're right. As for where to look, maybe we should start with the park. Nepoyo Heartful Park, right? Now to decide who's going. As the oldest, I'll go. And Shunsuke, you seem raring to go, am I right? Yeah, I'll come with you. And... One more. I'll go too. Sure. You okay though? I'm scared, of course. But if Shunsuke's giving it his all, I want to too. Uh, Alright, I guess I can rely on you. We're the party for our first expedition. Then it's settled. To Nepoyo Heartful Park. Hey, I was wondering. Why is the park named Nepoyo Heartful Park? It was created to strengthen the bond between Nipori and Yonago. But this isn't Nipori or Yonago. They couldn't decide which city to build it in, so they put it in this totally unrelated town. Ah, a magnificent example of putting the cart before the horse. <laughs> Let me talk to the other kids just, just to get their input. You know, what I'm reminded of when I see a fangirls going nuts around a celebrity. Sperm circling around an egg. In... Indeed? Wow. Gross. I had my voice crack just now. <laughs> oh well, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a girl in my class named Alice. Seems like a lot of parents like that name. But you gotta raise her cute. If you raise her homely, there's no help in her. Oh, uh, no comment on the girl I mentioned. <laughs> That's rude. Jeez, Ray. I can't believe the town could be ruined in just a day. Yeah, homes, shops, buildings, they're all dilapidated. Meaning... This is our chance? No one will mind a little looting. That's not nice. It isn't, is it? <laughs> you go, Shinsuke. And the park is just right next to us. Yep. Well, here we are. Now what? Let's do a thorough search. We can split up since it's a small place. If anything weird happens, make sure to tell someone. Don't try to go it alone. Okay. Got it. Oh, how did it come to this? I know. Shinsuke, if anything should happen to me, just wrap me up in a mat and send me down a river. 
wrap you in a mat? Yeah, you know, a big one. Anyway, have you found anything? Nope, you? Me neither. I guess we should look a little more. But the question is... Where? Uh, my leg. Huh? Uh. What is it? Something... Something's pulling my leg. <gasps> what do I do? Roto, come on. Come on, buddy. Just... just. Just come! Oh no! Well, what do we do? We pull, both pull him, what else? Ah! I'll pull Ryo's arms, you take care of that thing around his leg. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go. Let go, let go! Hang in there, Rio. This isn't pro wrestling. Junsuke, now! Rapunzel attacked. Bash. Take. You won. Rio, are you okay? Y yeah. But there's something in the dome. Inside? <laughs> Is this one of the mistresses? Princess Hanauta Mitsugi attacked. All right. Feel like that's gonna be useful, but This is unfortunately a lost cause. We're dead. <laughs> dead end. Guess who's a dingus? It's me. It's cryptic. <laughs> Not paying attention to what I'm doing. My bad, guys. My bad. She's cute. safe on this turn. Now we block. 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 Yike. Okay, this is the first time. Ash. Okay. 
Swap. Block. Block. It's the first time that I'm trying to pay attention this time around. Bash. Okay, cool. You won. <laughs> that was dramatic. That scared me so bad. I bet, but it's okay now. Yeah, thanks, you two. Anyway, looks like the mistress disappeared after we beat her. I wanted to wrap her up in a mat and send her dr down a river. <laughs> Well, after that incident, I suppose we should go back to base. Yeah. Shunsuke? Are, are we okay? Hey, stop that. You can't go tearing up our books. Hey. Hey. You forget about kids like me, don't you? That's why you sell books like these, right? Don't back away like you're obviously disgusted. Don't back away from me if you don't like me. Shunsuke! What's wrong? You look kind of pale. Must be tired. We should definitely go back. Y yeah. What was that? I heard these strange voices. Well, I'm gonna save. <laughs> Since it doesn't say save completed, I just get worried that I haven't saved. <laughs> we returned and told everyone what happened in the park. It was hard to believe. But it really happened. Alright, I guess I'm going out with some other kids now. What's next after the park? Mm. Is everything okay? Take me with you next time. Ray? I just gotta do something and I want to give Hiroto a break. Huh. Okay, I'll count on you. Don't worry, I got it. Maybe one more person. Who else hasn't gone? Uh, Aya, will you come? Me? That gonna be okay? Yeah, that's fine. I'll go. All right, thanks. Then it'll be us three. Whoosh! <laughs> they are cute little kids. You're putting on pounds, but not dollars, lady. My mom got mad when I said that. Figures. <laughs> when they were naming the Tokyo Sky Tree, I sent in my own suggestion. What was yours? The White Noise Tower. Oh my goodness, my voice, I'm sorry. You're a terrible liar, Hiroto. It's just a nervous tick. I repeat. <laughs> Is everything okay, Sayaka? Oh, it's fine. 
While you were gone, we had two heart attacks, a pregnancy, and an abortion. But other than that... I see. <laughs> what an odd little girl. I like her, though. Well, here we are. Except we didn't decide where to look. Where are we going? How about the lot with the pipes? It shouldn't be too hard to search. I guess you're right. Where's that again? Straight south from here. I think I should just show you. South? Gotcha! I mean, you're just coming with me anyways, but I'm also gonna save so that if I die, I don't have to uh, go through that again. And I assume this is the lot with the pipes. Here it is. Wow, empty as hell. Well, we can't say that for sure until we look around, okay? Eh. Let's get to this. Right, but don't be careless, considering what happened in the park. Yep. Although, ultimately, there was indeed nothing. Nothing. What did I tell you? Bummer. And we checked everywhere, right? Yeah, probably. What about you, Aya? Huh? Aya? Ray, where's Aya? What? Wasn't she with you? Um. Where'd she go? I didn't. Uh. <laughs> Dramatic music. What the heck is that music? M my phone. Some old taste there, Ray. Look, I swear I don't remember making this my ringtone. What's with the look? It's true. Anyway, let me check this. Right. Sender, Yuichi Mizuoka. A, a text from Yuichi. Hello, Ray. Do you want to play a game? Haha, <laughs> gotcha. No jigsaws here, just... Good old Yuichi. You're already playing my game. And hey, nice ringtone there, Ray. Lol. I changed it. You like? I thought you would. As if. So, wondering where Aya went? Thing is, while you were busy searching, she just plain wandered off. Can't say I expected it, actually. What a dangerous thing to do. The town has it out for poor Aya. But I'll wait a little bit to kill her. How about we play hide and seek? You have 40 seconds. Don't find her time and she's a goner. Good luck. HF, DLHD. I know GL, but that's the only other one that I know. <laughs> or the only one I know, my goodness. And the town's gonna get in your way, so watch it. Hold up! 40 seconds? We have to be quick. Damn it, Yuichi. No. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Oh, that was not the time for me. Um, 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 bye. Oh god, oh god. There she is. <laughs> Hiya, whoa! Found you! How 
could you wander off like that? You know that's dangerous. <sighs> Sorry, it's just... I was kind of tired. I wanted to rest. And I didn't have the motivation. No motivation. This is not the time. I know. But it's just... Well... Um... Whoa. H hey, you okay? Oh, sorry. I'm fine. Have you been eating right? Not really. That's no good. Doesn't your mom tell you to clean your plate? Yeah, she does, but it it's just... It's like I'm chewing on sand. Sand? Huh? Um, I don't really get that, but let's go back for now. Even as things are, we're standing around in somebody's garden. Hmm? What's up? It says Mizuoka on the door. Mizuoka, Yuichi's last name? Making this Yuichi's house? Maybe. Want to go look? Feels like we gotta. Oh, you gonna be okay, Aya? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, let's go in. Gotcha. Well, it, um, is very green. Anything I can click on? Hawada Elementary Secret Site. Number 125, Anonymous. Isn't Yuichi in 2-4 such a little creep? Stop asking such weirdo questions. Do children even use these sorts of sites? I'd expect teenagers, but... From number 126, Anonymous. I know, he's always talking like a crazy person. I wish he'd just up and disappear. Number 127, even the teachers hate that kid. 128, nobody's gonna answer you, kid. So many idiots around here. 129, Yuichi is just an attention... Totally asking for it. <laughs> UH Extermination Committee. Shut up, 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 shut up. There was a sound. Chizuru Azuma on TV. It appears someone used the computer. Is that in reference to us? I have to wonder. Obtained unmelting cheese. Noise. It smells terrible. It's locked with a padlock. Right. Wow, that's some funky music. I don't know what to think of it. Other than maybe it's a little loud. The escapism of mind illness. As of late, doctors have been deeming the negligence of their patients as mind illness. Common sense tells us mind illness could not exist. And yet this idea has spread among doctors and patients. I feel this indolence is leading us to a crisis. The chapters of this book will analyze in detail how this practice of conveniently naming a mere lack of ambition will come to be a societal problem. Mind illness is no more than an excuse and ex escape. From neurologist Goro Kuyo. The scorned woman versus the fox lady. 
she I shall never forgive. The sultry music playing seems to be from this TV show. Can we turn it off? My gosh. Yuichi's mother's diary. Read it. Sure. Some month, some day. My stepmother's dementia is getting worse. She wanders day and night and padlocked her room. My husband won't help at all. Some month, some day. My husband keeps coming home late. He's avoiding me and my stepmom. He always stays away from trouble. I talked with him. He seemed annoyed and fatigue showed in his face. Of course, he doesn't care about his own mother. My husband blew up at me. I was so shocked. I couldn't tend to my stepmom for a week, and now her room smells foul. My husband is developing a real attitude. He berates me daily. Is this domestic violence? He's only running from reality. Howard. I'm getting thinner by the day. Food tastes terrible. Nothing's fun. I don't have any motivation. And my room smells. My condition just gets worse. I don't know what I'm doing. What should I do? I don't feel alive. I should just vanish. My husband's abuse is so terrible. We hardly see each other. All I have is you. You. You, 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 you. So many yous. Oh my god, I'm not gonna say all of them. The remaining pages all just say you. There's a letter in an envelope on the last page. Read it. Yeah. Dear Hayashiya Pei and Pa Ko, I really enjoyed everything you've done. I've never written a fan letter before, so I'm not sure what to say. Maybe my history? First of all, I was born in a trash can. Hmm. I was abandoned there as a baby. But someone found me and took me to an institution. I was there until I was 15, when I found a job at a catering company. Before I knew it, I was over 30. Life is funny that way sometimes, I guess? The turning point was marrying my husband, but even as newlyweds, he refused to be my partner at night. So when he came home one day, I said, Drop those trousers, bucko! And this turned out to be highly effective. I got pregnant, birthed the boy, and here we are. Later I found out he wasn't confident about dating me. He must not like trouble, I thought. Well, this ended up pretty boring. Anyway, I look forward to your future works. From a fan. Indeed. Poor lady, I, I feel bad for her. It's really sad, actually. Huh? Ah, uh, that's creepy. The singing seems to come from here. Guess we have to go in, right? Oh my goodness. Oh. Aha. Ugh. A show that plays children's music. It seems to be muted now, though. All right. The slaughtered corpse of a grown man. The red fluid around him looks more like red ketchup. His hands are gone. Why were they taken? Around him, there's stuff I think I saw in a biology textbook. Why am I thinking about this? Have I gotten used to this town? That can't be good, can it? 
Yeesh, I don't want to look at this. On the other hand, it doesn't much surprise us anymore, now does it? Yeah. Well, it's still scary. But if there's a dead adult in Yuichi's house, then this must be his... <laughs> Vamos, Kentar! Huh? Welcome to my abode. Maybe a bit late on that one. Mm, Yuichi. You don't look so good. And you've only beaten one, mistress? Uh, that aside, I believe you're on the right track with that gruesome sight there. A man dead in your house, I can imagine. I don't think he was your brother, which leaves... Yes, indeedy. He's my dear papa. You... You killed your own father? Yippers. Yippers. Because... The thing about dear papa is, I hate him so very much. Now then, I mustn't forget to be hospitable to my guests. Hospitable? I don't think I want to see your idea of hospitality. Maybe you don't. Well, how about this? <laughs> he's cute. I know he's awful, but he is cute. Kind of feel bad for him. I mean, I guess if his dad was as bad as maybe his mom's diary was saying. <laughs> now what? I've had it. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Calm down, Ray. You've lost your cool. Well, obviously. Hopefully that all works. Now I have a question for you all. A man with a wife cheats with another woman. Is this a good thing? Or a bad thing? Alright then. Of course, you'd say it's bad. But that's something this man doesn't seem to realize. No, that's not it either. He knows, but he turned it on its head. Her attack does a lot. It didn't please him, so he turned it from a bad thing into a good thing. So impudent. Do you get what I mean? Huh? I'm just gonna keep using those abilities. They're doing something. Better than dad is at this point. Ah, I just had a funny thought. There's a DVD on that shelf there. Familiar with the actress Manami Kaji. Yeah, I always looked up to her, even if she's retired now. <laughs> Role model, eh? Too bad. Why? 
Because that DVD, it's a uh, Ron with blank joining the fun too. I'm not reading that. That is nasty. Looking up to an actress who gets licked all over by blank, eh? That's how that pans out. Licked by blank. Blank, blank, filthy actress. Uh, this is some hardcore stuff. Yuichi's dad was a perv. Hmm? There's something in here. A note and a letter? I want to think this thing was mailed to me as a children's prank, but it's terrifyingly possible it was an adult. With the strange screams coming from my house, I have to wonder what the neighbors think. It's really not good for my heart. If I hide it among prawn, my wife will never touch it. She's not so childish as to look at my prawn. Do not lose hope. Instead, stand your ground. Everything will come in time. For you should not hurry. Rather, believe. Each thing you wish for, all will someday come. Keep an open mind and persist. Yikes. Huh? What's wrong? Didn't you notice? Read the first letter in each sentence. Um. D. I. E. F. R. E. A. Okay, that's not a very nice note, is it? Uh, let's go back to base. This is a uh, quite a game. Hey guys, we're back. How'd it go? Well, we didn't find any mistresses, but... But... Sorry, I... Huh, I see. But why would you do something so dangerous? I don't know. I just... Just... I've always thought about disappearing. I feel really bad for her. Wanting to be alone and disappear because it's so hard. So you went off alone? Well, I understand how this could make you feel that way. No. It's not that. I've always felt like this for a long time. A long time? How long? Maybe about half a year. Nothing seemed fun anymore. But I'm not really sure why. Maybe I'm just gloomy. Actually... I am. Maybe you're kind of like my dad. Huh? He's been in a really lousy mood. He seems sad a lot. He talks about wanting to die, but I don't think he's serious. Hey, me too. Uh, for me, it's my mom. She's always out of energy, doesn't want to eat, and doesn't get much sleep. It's worst in the morning, and she gets really lazy with breakfast, but after school, she seems a little happier. Yeah, same here. Ray? My old man's always got this hopeless look, and when he mopes around everywhere, or, and he mopes around everywhere, won't eat? Either. Says it tastes like sand. That's why I was like, huh? When Aya mentioned it earlier. 
weird. Same at my place. You too? Seriously? Yeah, and it's both of my parents. So, all your moms and dads are like me? I guess so, yeah. Huh, just a coincidence. It'd be way too much of one. Hey, what about you, Shunsuke? Um, I... I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Why do I even ask? Whatever. Let's focus on staying alive here. Yeah. I tried to joke about it, but it really disturbed me. Because my dad and mom were fine. Everyone has this thing in common, but I don't. What could it mean? It's a very good question. Ooh. I've had my rest. I'm ready to go any time. I like to come with you and Ray. Although, do you think we should get something to eat first? I'm not really hungry. But now is exactly the time for needing to be well fed. There's food at the hag shop. I think we can borrow some, given the cir circumstances. I guess you're right. That shop has lots of useful things, so maybe we could look around. What about after we get food? There's apartments by the shop. I think we should search them. Yeah, there could be something there. All right, we'll go to the hag shop and then to the apartments. For Mother's Day, I was thinking of giving my mom some... Favor tickets, but I decided on a different kind of ticket. Hmm, what? Uh, a parking ticket. And? She hasn't paid me yet. <laughs> She's so cute. Sayaka, let's put an end to this thing between us. I don't think so, boss. Unless you're okay with me sending those embarrassing photos home? Oh, please no, my queen. What are you up to? Playing pretend adultery between a boss and a secretary. I figured it was a good distraction. Ah. My friends are weird. <laughs> All right, uh, the hag shop up here. Wait, what wasn't it? Right, right. Amore Medical. Amoridical. Amoridical. It's an incredibly normal clinic. Indeed. Did I go down too far with the F? There we are. Friend's still there. Yep. The Hag Shop. A surprisingly scary name, but it's surprisingly well stocked with a wide selection and is as useful as any convenience store. All right, this should be enough food for everyone. Obtained food for everyone. Wow, that's a pretty literal like way of doing it. Just food for everyone. Just clicking around for items. Just in case.
don't know if there are any. But I guess we'll see. Obtain Diamond Bell. How'd I miss that? Oh, well, whatever. Kind of hard to pinpoint exactly where I've been standing because I don't know where the hitboxes of these spots actually are. Obtain two maple cookies. Cool. Alright guys. Bowling pads. Could be useful. Whoa, they've got root beer. This is my kind of shop. Is it any good? Dude, it's the berserker of the beverage world. I once went on a family trip to Okinawa and went to this A&W place where they poured this black liquid into a mug. I didn't know what I was ordering, so it scared the hell out of me. Huh. But putting it next to cooling pads? That's just keeping the man down. Hmm? After Kyoko Kano got di or Kyoko Yano got divorced, she got way thinner. I guess breaking up did it. Maybe it was from the stress of divorce. This process just wore her out. Ah, now you're on to something. So are we done here? I assume. Hmm. Oh. Same dialogue. I guess we are done. Huh? What's up? The door won't open. No way. We're locked in. Yeah, I can see that. Thanks. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god. Hiroto! Hiroto! Princess Hidokata Sakuragi attacked. Alright. Well, let's fight them. I don't know if that's going to work anymore. So far, so good, maybe? I actually really love the use of this music. It's really good.
I have more maple cookies than the juice, so I'm just gonna use them. They healed the same amount anyways. Frick yeah! You won! Are you okay, Hiroto? Ugh, I was careless. But I like pain, so I'm fine. Um, you okay there, Hiroto? That's just asking for misunderstandings. Just didn't want you to worry. Yeah, I figured. So, was that a mistress? Must be. Look like Looked like the one Shunsuke and I saw in the park. She must have locked the door, too. Well, good. Now we can leave. Yeah. Shunsuke? Shunsuke? Ah. Um, Shunsuke? Are you okay? Did he, like, pass out? Just then, waves of water spilled out of the house and buildings around town. It formed a river, a lake, and soon a sea. A thousand year sea, a sea of memory, sunk in ruins of remembrance. The sea so resembled the sky, I felt I was flying. Yes, and so too did twinkling stars gather. It was a blue sea of stars. That's really pretty. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there. I hope everyone enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit the like button and subscribe. I hope to up upload videos at least once a week, and if you want to see more of me, I will link my Twitch in the description down below. I stream three to four days out of the week. Alright then!